I learned a lot of game from them, and it was just amazing to see the, the smiles on their faces when they came back to uh, represent the Chiefs. Not, not only them being number one coming in after the rankings, but knowing what type of high power offense they had, where do y'all find that you know thing that says, this, this is going to be our game, not theirs? Like I said, I, I feel like uh, we handled that uh, through the week of preparation. Um, we knew, like I said, we knew what type of team they were going to be. Uh, very physical team, very fast team, uh, very well conditioned team. And we knew uh, it was going to be one of those four quarter games. We knew it was going to be a dog fight. Like I said, but it all goes back to execution. The coaches gave us a great, uh, a great game plan, and we uh, executed, I think, at a pretty high level. And we were able to get out of the Excuse me if I have so many already asked you. Uh, coach calls that play, you coming off the edge a couple of times. What was going through your mind when the play comes in? Um, get home, do your alignment assignment, just do it, do your job. Don't try to do too much and do your job. And we do, we working on help me help you defense. So if, if I don't get home, somebody else is gonna get home. So um, it was all about just doing my job and I was able to get a sack. A lot of talk about the Tennessee offense coming into this one. You guys listen to any of that noise? Are you guys just confident in what you're doing? We, we block everything out, we focus on us. Uh, we can't really focus on what everybody else does, what everybody else says, but we can control what we do. And I feel like that's what we're able to do tonight. Javon, what was the, the mindset when you blitz? I mean, you, you want to have maybe a couple sacks. What's going through your head when you got a chase guy before? Uh, just get home. Like I said, alignment and assignment. Just do your job. Don't try to do too much. Uh, if, you know what I'm saying? Just basically doing my job. Never try to do somebody else's job in this defense. Um, I was just trying to make an impact for my team, and, and God gave me the ability to do that. What did you think of how the secondary was able to play tonight? I feel like we played great. Uh, it was a, we, had, we knew it was going to be an extreme challenge for us. As far as that offense goes, we know that we had some very explosive receivers. And got uh, Central Tim back, who's a great receiver. Um, number 11, very, very great receiver. Um, so we knew it was going to be a challenge for us. Uh, just like, like I said, we locked into the game plan, and we just knew that like, it was going to be one of those fourth quarter games. And we just, it was a challenge for us. We challenged, it wasn't necessarily like listening to the uh, media, but it was, we knew it was going to be a challenge for us. And we challenged ourselves more so than we felt challenged by anybody else. So. After last year's defense, what, defense, what statement did this year's defense make in today's game? Uh, you know, we not last year's defense. Uh, last year, we, I had off the last year's defense. They were a great defense, um, probably one of the best in history. But this is the Georgia 2022 defense, and uh, we feel like we're a pretty good defense, too. We try not to dwell on what, what happened last year. We try to focus on what's present. What's the feeling right before the snap when the crowd's behind you and you're about to, they're about to snap the ball? What's that feeling like? Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Like I said, I've never felt nothing like that a day in my life. So, like, to feel that atmosphere and that, and that feeling running through your body, it's a blessing. Do you remember the last 